since the very beginning, 20 years ago, we made the decision to have um, uh, classrooms that had two teachers and a teaching assistant so that if we had uh, students with IEPs or with 504 accommodation plans, we would be able to best support those students right in the classroom. And since then, we have always had inclusive classrooms. I love like having the ability to work with them um, one on one. So that kind of comes in with my reading intervention role. Um, I get small groups and I also get to work with them one on one to kind of see how they're doing. And then it provides me with some information to get an idea of, um, you know, whether they're succeeding or whether they need a little bit more support. She didn't have behavioral issues. So I felt like she was kind of being ignored. <laughs> Her issues were being ignored because she was such a well-mannered student, but she was still struggling with her reading and her math. I heard great things about the school. I heard that um, the kids were happy there. That was like one of the, <laughs> the biggest selling point for me is just happy children. Um, they did amazing things with education and um, they just have a really great reputation. I think another piece, and this kind of falls into our, our, our particular school is being smaller, um, a smaller in number. So with that, we have the ability to, you know, have our, our special education teachers um, working closely with the, the teachers and, and getting into the classrooms and providing the support that they need with the, the hands-on, minds-on, you know, um, approach that we are are trying to deliver and work on with our with our students. So. I know here they have experience. Um, it's a high quality education. Um, I'm in constant communication with the teacher, the, the school leader. I can always get in contact with them. They're responsive to all my emails. They don't take a long time to respond. Um, and again, I'm on a text basis with her direct special ed teacher and her direct teachers. And they also do a loop in addition with the three teachers that are in the classroom, it's on a loop. So it's like a two year loop. So that same teacher is staying with your child for two years. Really nice to, as a parent to kind of relax because I was so tense and involved in every aspect of her learning process, still am, but I, I could kind of have a, a breathing room with GCCS because I know that they're just as passionate and I know she's in good hands and they're gonna push her when she needs to be pushed, but ease off when she also needs to be, you know, like taken care of. So she's always in good hands. Kind of program with hands-on, minds-on and project-based is really helpful for students um, who need a purpose and a drive for learning. And one of the things that we're able to do with two teachers and a teaching assistant and with a lot of co-teaching and co-planning is to be able to differentiate those projects and those assignments that children are working on daily uh, so that it does meet the particular need and skill that that student um, needs at that time. So that really helps to support um, students with, with special needs. Um, so I would absolutely encourage families to apply um, for our school.